Hey everybody, this is Bobulus, and we're playing Starship Titanic. Alright, the voting was very evenly split, so I'm going to go with the elevator and the restaurant today. We're in front of elevator 3, so it is a good time to get over to elevator 4 and see what we can do with this spare lift bot head. Hello, sir. I was just wondering if you was going to step in here, and here you are, which just goes to show. As you might recall, uh, elevator 4 is out of service and is stuck on floor 27, as we know through the television. Uh, so, here we go. Sir! Here is your floor, sir. So we can get to the elevator here. And what the? It has a head already. But what's this then? Aha! Titania's eye was in the liftbot head slot. And I thought that was actually kind of clever. We were looking for an eye, and so we saw what it saw through the television. And it saw this floor 27 right here. Anyway, put the head back in. Now, oh, Joe, blow me! Hello. Step me vitals and pickle me dagwaller. Must have lost me head for a moment there. Uh, where were we? Battle of Binge Jobly, was it? Is that you, Ginger? Hello? Hello? Oh, what? Oh, it's you, sir. Well, I think I owe you a vote of gratitude. Yes, sir. Top of the well it is. Restaurant's a bit longer than our last area, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go there. Restaurant is very interesting. We'll get our first bit of plot. Top uh, the well, sir. From here you can walk. I was just thinking about you, sir. Thought you might like to know my blibbers on the turn again. Been since our last encounter. I think it must be the stress on account of the system being on account of the system. What's wrong with the system? I expect you'll be wanting a oh, floor. Yeah, I love this guy. He, uh, when his meters go out of whack, he just starts complaining about his various uh, war wounds. I was gonna say I, uh, I messed with the uh, the robot in the restaurant a little bit before I started recording, so hopefully I can actually get some actual dialogue out of him. A restaurant, but not the one at the end of the universe. Passengers will kindly behave themselves on the journey. The first class restaurant. Please exit other side. This is very confusing, I know. Goodbye. Okay, so this is the restaurant. Uh, got kind of a constellation mo uh, motif. There's the actual restaurant. Here is the box, the res reservation box. And this says it's the restaurant music system, and it appears to be locked. So we'll have to think about that. Head into the actual restaurant. Now, something going on there at the end, but uh, eh, there's some tables. Why don't we grab one? Excuse me, sir. Uh, how about this one? That table is busy, sir. This one? That table also is busy. Okay, I'm getting the picture here. So, Bonsoir, bienvenue. It is a joy beyond comprehension to greet you tonight, sir. I hope that the music will not make you vomit on Julie. So we have a ridiculous French parody robot, and he is obviously busted. Torso, legs, head. And what the heck is that over there? Is that a dead body at a table? I need a table. Sadly, Sudam, we are very busy tonight, and the other tables are all reserved. What happened here? I get a little bit picked up, and then a tiny bit thrown to the ground, and then I think just the merest soupçon stamped on, and I think it is just possible that my limbs were torn off and used in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Poof, <laughs> it happens. Uh, speaking of torn off limbs, we'll take that one. You're holding Titania's auditory center. But 
Uh, you can't get it out of his hand. He's got like a death grip on it. But let's see what that dead guy is. Oh, Je God. suis désolé, Sudan. That table is occupied by a very distinguished customer. He has been lingering over his cafe for 17 hours, so I am sure he will be calling for the bill in one second. Uh, he's dead, dude. He's face down in his soup. He's totally dead. Um, let me scavenge his corpse. Monsieur Dame, that table is occupied by Monsieur Scraliontis. Okay, you're not gonna let me, uh, get to his table. Monsieur Dame. Let me talk to Sca... How do you spell that? Scraliontis. Ah, Monsieur Dame always knows what to say. Perhaps if I can insert a tiny word through the side, that tiny word would be menu. Fine. What's for dinner? I will check with the chef. I'm afraid, Sir Dame, that due to a previous passenger choice, that selection is no longer available. Je suis désolé. Look, I need to talk to that guy. Um... Frankly, you know, I can't actually find anything that lets me... gives me a clue what I'm supposed to do next, which is fight the <laughs> waiter bot until he gives up and lets me, uh sit at the table. And the way you fight that guy is uh, attacking his weak point for massive damage. Please, Sir Dame, do not prod me. I say again, do not prod me. Alright? I fight you! On guard, sir! Ah! You prod me on my Achilles buttock! This you must not do! It pains me very much! You must not prod me on my Achilles buttock! It is very on fire that I cannot wiggle it away. Do not prod my Achilles buttock. You must not prod me on my Achilles buttock. It is very on fire that I cannot wiggle it away. If you will prod my Achilles buttock, you will compel me to give up. Enfin, enough. You win the day. I submit the towel. I throw in the ghost. My white flag and lofts. I yield to your superior button prodding strategies. So, I invite you to join Monsieur Scraliantis at his table. Bon appétit. The day is mine. And now we can sit down and discover that he has all kinds of crap back here. We got another arm. You do not arouse me. You are boring to me now. Excuse me. Now I prefer to hum. <laughs> Yeah, and his left hand is uh, holding a key, probably to that uh, music system back there. We've also got a super absorbent napkin. Maybe that can be used sometime. And what's uh, Scraliontis holding? A green fuse. I wonder where that could be used. But uh, yeah, he's face down. He's dead. Maybe we can actually pump some information out of the bot now that we've solved the puzzle. Done. What happened? To Scraliontis. It is very strange. He enters our delightful restaurant last night carrying this thing in his hand. And then there comes the great Monsieur Leovinus. He is not, I think, in a good mood, and he shouts very much. So I am very smooth and charming to him, and he is in a bad mood still. And I am very smooth and charming to him, and he is in a bad mood still. And I am very smooth and charming to him, and he is in a bad mood still. And I am very smooth and charming to him, and he rips my arm off. Poof! And throw me to the ground. And I am very smooth and charming to him. And he is, I think, much moved and rips my head off. And then I am only a little bit conscious. Uh, but I think they fight a little with my body parts. And then when I awake, Monsieur Scraliontis is lingering very much over his coffee. Huh. So this is our actual plot point. Leo Venice, the designer of Starship Titanic, has killed the... Accountant! Why did Leo Venus attack? I think Monsieur Scraliontis, he was boiling his books. Boiling his books? Aha! Intrigue! And plus, uh, you know, Scraliontis was carrying a green fuse. That's gotta, you know, do something. What was Scraliontis carrying? Just in case I missed something. Whatever. Fine, you're not gonna tell me anything else. So. 
very, very interesting. Not much more we can do here, but there is obviously something going on. The accountant was boiling his books and was carrying something, and Leo Venus attacked him and <laughs> beat him to death with the uh, waiter's arms. So, that's what's going on for now. Uh, tune in next time. We'll do a bit more voting. See you then. Bye-bye.